welcome to wild and wonderful West Virginia, everyone, we're at Snowshoe Mountain for the World Cup final. Coincidentally, it's also the location of the debut of the long-awaited Scott Axis E-Ride mechanics support concept. Genius, beautiful, what other superlatives can I come up with? Bike, uh, which we've been working on since 2019. Um, it's actually kind of been in the wings, but unable to be debuted due to the absence of any racing in the United States for the last almost two years now. Um, so we're lucky to finally be at a race where, uh, also a race with spectators, where we can actually show the bike off and show some of our creative and fun ideas that we've come up with for this bike to make it something interesting and um, worth stopping and taking a second look at when you pass it in the pits. So without further ado, this contraption here is um, has a lot of bells and whistles, some hidden features that might be worth taking a closer look at. So where to begin? Uh, it starts out as a Scott Axis E-Ride. It's a bike you can buy out of the catalog, one of Scott's uh, many models of e-bike. Um, the point of this one was to load it up with every necessity that you, uh, that I, as a mechanic, would need to take to the pits in a pro race to support any possible um, mechanical issue or other feeding issue that comes up in a mountain bike race. So having some experience in that department, they asked me to uh, kind of lead the charge and they offered me the opportunity to involve whomever I wish. Um, so it was a great opportunity opportunity for me to collaborate with many friends and acquaintances and partners that I've met along the way throughout my career doing this job. Um, perhaps most not noticeable uh, is the stunning paint job. It was kind of reminiscent of the oil slick uh, theme which is present throughout the parts and components that are spec on this bike. Uh, my friend Tony Bowman, who is a, a friend of mine from childhood, I was 11 when we first met. Uh, we used to race bikes together in North Carolina. He's since he got his own business as a custom airbrush specialist for bikes and other things um, and has risen to prominence uh, in the industry over the years and it was an awesome opportunity for me to finally get to work with him and do something for myself. I've, I've built many bikes for pro athletes that he's had the uh, opportunity to paint but never something for me personally. So um, to get to involve him is probably the most sentimentally valuable aspect of the entire project. Um, and we talked about it yesterday, we actually just finished the build yesterday and he was like, kind of in the same, you know, we both had a bit of an emotional <coughs> uh, realization of kind of how far the two of us have both come and it's been 25 years now since we got started doing all this bike stuff. So it's really cool to, um, to be involved with Tony on this one. So thank you, Tony, for all the hard work. It looks stunning and everyone has confirmed that who has walked by so far in the last two days. Um, beyond that, we tried to pay homage to the team sponsors, so you'll see full complement of Synchros products, all the top end stuff, most of it with custom paint thrown on it. Um, the bike has two spare wheel sets, as we always bring to the tech zone. These are the Synchro Silverton SL wheels, which are the fancy one piece carbon wheels that Kate races on and the whole team races on. Um, normally, to have just two on a bicycle is a pretty special thing. To have six on a bicycle at one time is, we think, probably unheard of and never before done, so we're very proud that we were able to figure out how to do that. Um, beyond that, of course, SRAM is the title sponsor of our team and they were kind enough to provide a full access group for the bike, complete with the rainbow oil slick finish to match. Um, of course, the RockShox dropper post that the, the guys race on. We also have one on this bike to make it easier for me to swing my leg uh, over the top tube and hop on when the time comes. Um, I've been a partner with Abbey Bike Tools for uh, four or five years now as an ambassador. Um, not only did they provide the toolbox, which is mounted on the back rack, uh, he also did literally all of the custom fabrication, and that is a lot of custom fabrication that you see on this bike. Everything from the way we've mounted the wheels, the way we've mounted uh, all the racks that have enough load support to actually carry the weight that we've attached to this bike, which is substantial. Um, it was not an easy job, and Jason Quaid, the owner and founder and brain behind all of Abbey Bike Tools, um, basically shut his workshop down for like three days straight to help us pull this off. So uh, without Jason, this would just be ideas and things jotted down on paper and drawings on a napkin, but uh, he's the kind of guy with the brain that can actually pull this stuff off in real life and has the equipment to, to back it up. So that was huge. Really appreciate Jason and the Abbey Tools uh, contribution. That was, that was big and we couldn't have done it without him. Um, probably my favorite feature and I think the one that gets the most attention, um, Topeak, another title sponsor of our team, provided um, this product is called the Tubi Booster, which is a, actually just an air can that you can charge with a floor pump. 
but we've taken it a step further. If you see, we have here uh, a little miniature air compressor that we've hollowed out one of the tanks to fit that inside, run a hose to the other one to actually fill with air. So we have an automatic air compressor, which with the push of a button, charges the tank with air, uh, has a simple hose with a head on it, like a normal floor pump. So once it's full of air, which it is, uh, at the turn of a valve, you can hear it actually works. So we have enough air in there to usually, to basically inflate three tires to race pressure from totally flat. So that's enough for any race. If we have more than, what, five flats in a race, then we're in big trouble. So that should be enough to get us through an hour and a half of bicycling. Um, beyond that, we have, I mean, obviously the, the wheel mounts are pretty spectacular. Um, just to have achieved that is a party trick of its own. Uh, everything is accessible with the turn of a knob. You'll notice the green knobs, those are actually a modification to an Abbey Bike Tools product meant to hold a wheel into a truing stand. Um, instead, he's converted them into a little twist knob to allow us to take the wheels on and off the bike using simply our fingers. So it's all actually usable, it's totally functional, and it, um, it's not just a showpiece, but it actually performs as, uh, as intended, and that's kind of the real miracle, I think, of all, is that we actually pulled it off and made something that's rideable and usable and not just something pretty to look at. So we're pretty proud of what we've got here. It's already turned a lot of heads and uh, yeah, just happy that it's, uh, it's finally seen the light of day.